Hi, my name is David Atkinson from uh, Basil Clyde College. And I'm just going to explain to you about brief three, which is your introduction to type, the good, the bad, and the ugly. It's just briefly how to set up uh, your page for your presentation in InDesign. So this is a brief that we're looking at. Read over it carefully. And um, within your teams that you're working together, you need to pick one good magazine and one, one bad magazine. And you've been doing four or five pages yourself. So you'll need four or five examples of the good magazine and of the bad magazine, different layouts, all the different design disciplines that we're looking down here. Pick one each. And then when you've got that and you've discussed what areas you're going to do, your presentation needs to look very similar. And we do this in InDesign. So you get used to using InDesign. I really appreciate that um, some of you, this is the first time you've used in, in design, so uh, it's really just about getting used to it. So you go to the program and it's open there, you go to create new and you'll get a new document. Again, you should watch all the videos that are out there that you've got links to. And if you've got any, um, any queries, just watch the video again, stop and start, and just go through it at your own pace. A4, 297 by 210, that's the size of your presentation. We need it landscape, not facing pages off. And for my grid, which you all need to have the same grid, I'm gonna use, I think eight millimeters all the way around the edge and click the link so it's all the way around the edge. These can be changed at any time if you require. And columns will have, I'm going to go, more flexibility with more columns, you get used to grids. All of the gutter space between the gutter at five. And then we just go create. Again, we can change these at any time if we want. And we've got that page. I'm just going to go to the magnifying glass. Scroll over there, keep your finger on the alt button, and it goes to a minus, and we do six. So that's the first page that you have there. And what I do is set up the template. So we're having a look at that. And I would just go to, I want these filled with boxes from these pages. So here, this stands for the border of your box. When the red lines through it, that's the fill. That means it's empty, there's nothing in it. So I don't want a border to this box that I'm going to draw. So I'm going to click these two little arrows. And it means the fill will be black. Go to the box. And fill the shape, and I'm going to want to put one example of the magazine, a good one in there. I'm going to put a bad one. See, it always snaps to the grid. Everything's on the grid and in the columns. That's the good, and that's the bad. Then we go to the type tool. This is the T, the top left hand side. And I'm going to want my headline up here. For this presentation, we need to keep the fonts quite large and it means you don't have to write as much. And yeah, put a type of headline that you want to put in there, uh, but I'm just gonna put good design. You find that it takes the format of the default font, which is Minion Pro. We don't want to use that. We want to select a font ourselves. I'm gonna put Gil Sands. And I'm going to do it, Girl Sands Bold. And you find that goes in about 12 point. That's the computer default. But a headline font, which again, you're looking at hierarchy of how your lane, lane fonts out, it probably needs to be about 30. It's 30 point, and it's just one line. So the letting the space between the lines doesn't really matter. I'll leave that at 30. Seconds. And then what we really need to duplicate that. Again, I just highlight it, I keep my finger, well, I keep my finger on the Alt key, highlight it, and then drag down. And that's bad design. And then what we need there, I'm going to do that again, keep my finger on the Alt key, highlight it, and drag. And I'm going to put a little headline in here. We need hierarchy of text. And this is going to say 
to use of color. Use of color, like that. But that's obviously too big because that's my main headline. So that probably needs to be about 18 point. And it's only going to be one line, but I don't want that bold. I'd rather have that just light. I like to use separate text boxes so you can gauge the size when you select it. Again, you can draw another text box or you can just duplicate it, but I'm going to go to the tank tool and draw this one. So you drop the text box in there. All snap into the grid. And we'll do this before that. If we change the Minion Pro to Gil Sands, I'm just going to do it light again. I've changed it, and then I'm just going to do that. Again, I think that'll be about 14 point, and I want the leading, the space between the lines to be about 16. And you will be writing your own text, but just for design purposes, I'm going to show you fill with placeholder text. Remember to use paragraphs to make it look, to make it look good. And then what I'm going to do, again, I'm just going to put my finger on the alt, Select the text and drag. And we'll go up there. So you can see you've got something that's starting to look like your design. There's the hierarchy of fonts. It's all on a grid. I'm just pressing W to show me with the grid and without the grid. Or you can go over here to the menu on the left hand side and you can click left and right with views, I just press W. And all you need now is to get our magazine examples. I'm going to do the example of the wallpaper magazine and the Cosmopolitan. Wallpaper is good. See that lovely layout, good use of photographs, hierarchy of type. Cosmopolitan is not so good. A bit of a mismatch, no space, colors are bad. Hierarchy of type is doubtful. Typography is not brilliant. So I'm going to use those two. If I go back to main design, I'm going to get my good design. I've got my good design, which is which is that. Okay, so it's too big for the page, so you, you select it. I've got that selected, and we go up here, and we fit the area, and it fits inside. You've got to be careful with that, because sometimes it will squash the proportions of your photograph. And we want them at 100%, so you need to go to the um, direct selection tool, which you click on that, and you can see it's 31 and 33. This tells you the measurements, the percentage measurements. I'm going to put that in at 34 each. Is that chain is checked. So that's the correct proportion. Then we'll get the bad design. You see, I highlight it. I press Command D. Once the box is highlighted, and this image will go into that box. And I go to the size tool at the top, and it will fit the area. Again, I've probably squashed that, so I need to go to the direct tool and select the image and not the box. And you see that's 58, and I just want to make that 61 to have no areas, no black areas. And that's as simple as where it is, and we'll save that. And basically, what you've got to do, we'll just save that as presentation tool. I'm going to save it. And what you do is you get four or five examples of the same magazine, but different spreads and see what you like, you don't like about them. 
probably in one area because you're working as a team. And then you've got one page. And the easiest thing of all is once you've done one page, go to your pages on your menu. If you can't find it, you'll find it up here in the window, which page is up there. There's your page. If you select your page, right click and duplicate spread. That gives you two pages. And all you've got to do is change the text, change the headline and change the images. And you'll keep the exact design style that you've got. And I'll just go back to that and I'll click on W and you'll see it's on the grid. I'll just do that again. Go to the page, right click, duplicate spread. And you assume duplicate spread, you've got your four or five pages. But your design needs to be sorted out before you do that. And there's a case of just changing the content. And that's for brief three. Remember, you're working in teams, discuss with your team and your team leader to put the full presentation together, but you're doing your own individual pages. And there needs to be a conclusion and an introduction at the start. And that's saved. Hope that helps. Hope all that helps you and you have a good time in putting this presentation together. Thank you. Goodbye.